Hello, I'm Dr. Ron England, and today we're going to talk about linear regression. And I'm going to use the tools within Smata Online to kind of take you through the basics of linear regression. So what we're going to do is we're going to, a linear regression is where you act, where you take, uh, in this case, we're going to take an X and a Y variable, one variable that are, uh, that's correlated to another variable, or we hope is correlated to another variable, and can be fit according to an equation. So um, I'm going to kind of jump right into it. So we go over here and click on bivariate regression. And let's take a look at how this works. OK, if you're working within um, Spot, you have two options with, with linear regression. One is just to put the data in, and the other one is to analyze the data. So um, I've got some data already in here. We're going to go back and look at that data. But let's first just let's look at using it for analysis. So I'm going to take the sample data set here. And I'm going to click on Use Data for Analysis. Now, if we look right here, we've actually got this data, raw data. Let's move this over so you might be able to see it here. And it's just x, y pairs on x and y, 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 7. And I have here this uh, series of sets of equations here, uh, linear exponential power inverse window and reciprocal. If I click on the Analyze Data using all the different data sets, I'm going to get a nice little curve of how it fits. The line is the actual data and each of the individual points is a fit. Now if you notice there's one line here that that goes, this is actually there's two, reciprocal and inverse that go um, kind of fit the data nicely and then all of a sudden go whoop up and then go whoop down. Well if you look at those equations, the inverse equation y equals a over b plus x and reciprocal which is y equals 1 over a plus bx um, the best fit for those specific curves um, does that. It um, because it's a number and the b and there's a b plus x in the bottom. As the b plus x value gets very very small, depending upon the value of b, um, that number can get very large, positive or negative. Same thing with the reciprocal there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to you know those those really don't fit. I'm going to turn them off. Turn them off. I'm going to hit analyze data again. This time I've actually got a number of lines that seem to fit relatively well. I've got the exponential, um, the linear fits well, and let's first let's talk a little bit about what um, linear regression is. In linear regression, what you do is you take the values, the x and y values, and you try to fit them to a curve form. So for like linear, the curve form is y equals a times x plus b. Okay, that's the standard curve form. Um, now, in that curve form, you're going to get a value for A, you're going to get a value for B, but what we're trying to do with those numbers is we're trying to minimize the sum squared errors. That's the SSE, the sum of errors squared. Well, what is the error squared? Well, if you have a number, let's say an, uh, an X value, and you fit it to this equation and you get a Y value, you now have an actual and a fitted value. So let's go down here and look at this. We have an actual and a fitted value. In the linear case, the fitted value is 2.318 and the actual is 2. Well, the error in this case is 2.318 minus 2, okay, and a sum squared errors is basically take that 0.318 and square it and then sum all the errors for all the actual numbers that you have, SSE, sum squared errors. So when you do a linear regression, the technique is a technique to minimize this SSE, sum squared errors. Now, um, if you notice, I've actually got multiple equation forms that we're fitting to this. Well, if you look at those multiple equation forms that you're fitting to this, you can take that equation form and you, these other equation forms like exponential, well, the way the model works is everything is done by using a linear, a, a fixed linear format for this, for determining the uh, regression uh, parameters. The thing about the exponential and the power and these other forms that you have here is they can be converted to linear. So for example, if you're working with the exponential form, look what happens if you take the natural log of both sides of this exponential equation. Natural log of y equals the natural log of a times e to the bx, well that ends up being natural log of a plus bx. And that, if you look at it, is the same format as the linear. 
So using the using SMOD and doing this, you can actually look at some linear forms, the ones that I've I've put into the into the format, and you can look at this in eyeball and say, well, if I look at the value of some squared errors, I can see that the linear is a very good fit and the power is a very good fit. They have very good r squareds, r squared being close to one. R squared simply just normalizes the concept of some squared errors, and a value of one would be a perfect fit, and any value less than one is less than perfect fit. So it gives you ability to have this normalized measure of how well a curve fits. Of course, the best way to look at this is also to look at just eyeballing it. Here's your actual data, here's your curve fit numbers, and how well do they fit the curve? So as you can see, it's relatively straightforward. Now, I am going to go very quickly and go backwards, and we're going to look at how do you get that data in in, this, in the computer program, because I actually used an existing set of data to do this. So I have a little data entry screen that's available to you, and we're going to go to that screen. The screen is available through the insert edit regression data, and this is the set of data that I was actually using in the analysis. I kept it live. And you notice that it's just simply a screen where I can enter them as XY pairs here. And it is XY. And the way this works is you have a text box to enter them. And if you put a comma over here, you can see if you put a comma or a semicolon or a space or a tab in between the numbers. In this case, I've got them separated by tabs, so they line up in nice columns. Um, you, it will separate them into XY pairs. Once you do that, you can save the data. If you have an existing set of data that you want to make um, have as a new set of data, you save it as new. Once you've saved it, you can go to the Manage screen, and the Manage screen allows you to delete or use that data back for the analysis. And that is the real basics of regression using